Hey guys, I know that I've said I'm only going to rate matches here, but I want to talk about a segment. Sometimes if a segment is good enough, if it feels worthy enough, and, and I like the segments in WWE as of late, since old Vince McMahon is gone, by the way. And I'm Adam Lavelle of WrestlingDoneRight.com. Check that site out to the links of all my social media, and please give me a like, follow, subscription, what have you. I would greatly appreciate it. But this segment was very tight. It was very good. It was a contract signing. Now, we've seen a million of these throughout the history of professional wrestling, have we not? And usually they're the same tired old thing. And this one wasn't wildly different. I'm talking about the contract signing for the match between Cody Rhodes and Logan Paul in Saudi Arabia coming up next weekend. Now, again, this one wasn't wildly different. It didn't break the formula of contract signings, but it was good for a contract signing. It explained how the United States Championship is not going to be on the line. Logan Paul's cowardice backs them out of that. And again, that's what Logan Paul is. He's playing this character, again, a word I don't really like to use in wrestling. It's a gimmick. He's playing this gimmick up better than almost anyone in the business today, except for maybe Theory and Waller. They, they play this gimmick up really good, too. That's why sometimes you'll see them with Logan Paul, because that combination works. The gimmick of being a cowardly, chicken shit, if you will, heel that just does anything they can to gain an advantage, no matter how cowardly, no matter how underhanded it is or looks. You know, Logan Paul surrounding himself with a bunch of dorks, what the dumb... Um, Nick Aldis called them uh, broccoli-haired, <laughs> something like that, broccoli-haired weirdos. I mean, we don't know who they are. Well, some of you might, because if you really follow social media in a wild, big way, I do not. Just just wrestling, for the most part. Uh, you know, might know who these guys are, but he comes out there and says, no, no, my, I'm ripping up this contract that they put before him for both titles that were sitting there on the podium looking all flashy and cool. And he goes, no, here's the contract. My lawyer drew it up. This is only for the WWE Championship. Cody has not done anything to earn a United States Championship. You know, being the WWE Champion doesn't earn you anything. <laughs> but that's, that's Logan Paul. He plays that perfectly. Do I love him as a gimmick? No. Do I love him as doing the business right? Yes. Should he wrestle more if he's a full-time wrestler? Of course. That's another discussion. That's another video. But he plays his role wonderfully. And Cody, you know, reacts emotionally, just signs the contract, shoves it back in his face. Before that, he had dismissed. Nick Aldis told him, I'll take care of this, Nick. You do a wonderful job. Don't take this as disrespect, but go ahead. You know, take the rest of the night off. I got this. And I think he might have had another plan, but instead he just hot-headedly signs Logan Paul's contract and agrees to his stipulation. Um, Logan Paul goes to attack Cody Rhodes. Cody sees it coming, tosses him out of the ring, puts one of his entourage buddies, one of those uh, broccoli-haired guys, to a table. I thought this was good. I mean, again, it didn't break the mold of what contract signings are. Somebody almost always goes through one of the tables they're sitting at. I'm not saying it was revolutionary. I'm saying it was good. I'm saying it was well done. I'm saying it held your attention and made you more interested in this matchup. It made Logan Paul more of the slimy, underhanded, chicken shit heel that he is. And it made Cody more of the baby face, excitable, I'm going to take care of business fan favorite that he is. And that's how wrestling is done right. This was done right. I will give this a WDR. I, it's not a match, but for a segment, maybe I'll review other segments. We'll see what you guys think of this. But it's a wrestling done right segment. I, I think it really worked well, drove the point home, hyped up the PLE, and made us ready to see Cody Rhodes kick Logan Paul's ass. Did it not? I think it did. What do you think? We'll be back again.